everyone! Welcome to our first game dev episode. Maybe we should name the series. How's everyone doing? I'm very excited to talk about my delusions. Are you guys excited? Hi Kumi, Moogle, Aqua, Greg, Dot Dot Monster. Is that my first time seeing you? Dot Dot Monster, Antoine. What game engine do you plan on using? I think someone recommended um, one that starts with a G. I've never heard it said out loud. Go Dot. Is that the one? Go Dot. Go Dot. dot. We'll, um, we'll get into the beats about my plan later. It's not a dream sensei, it's a future canon event already. <laughs> yes! You're just witnessing the beginning of it. Just imagine. If vampire survivors happened, if heart of, <laughs> heart of full boyfriend occurred, we can definitely plan out a game. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an, an insult to those games? I don't know vampire survivors actually. Yeah! Game Maker Studio or Godo. Oh, it's pronounced Godo. I've left a couple times for her. Cool! Glad to see you in chat. Since you want a Stardew Valley style thing, right? That's correct. I have been talking about it in the Tabby Tavern with some of you guys. Why do you retract that? <laughs> Concerned ape. Concerned ape be bonking you. And when I have to do something. Oh no, good luck doing stuff. Very excited. Been excited since you announced it during the de debut stream. Oh my god, Pog. Okay, let's let's see. What what we got here? Yeah. Okay, so this stream is going to be um, us, me talking about inspirations and just us bouncing ideas off of each other. Like, why I want to do this also. So, here are my, all my inspirations. Um, <laughs> here are some... Um, Ancient games for geriatric <laughs> moles. <laughs> geriatric moles will know these games. So this this freaking game is is the hyperfixation of my life. I cannot get this thing out of my head. I frequently think about this game like. Even though it's been ages since I played it. Actually, I did play it recently. I tried to replay it. <laughs> I think this to me is almost the perfect game. In terms of aesthetics and um, atmosphere, the characters, the design, everything. And I just, I just feel like I have not seen anything... That's really come close to it. Hot take, probably. <laughs> I have not seen anything that excites me as greatly as this freaking game. I'll show you guys screenshots later and you'll, you can see what the design actually looks like. And I am also always thinking about this mechanism in Pokemon. Not, not, uh, I like the, I love the Pokemon game itself, but this really, I was really stunned by this secret den, <laughs> secret den game mechanics. That was so fun. It just felt so cozy. So, yeah, that brings me to my audience. My, my target audience is... Is not monkey brain bros. Maybe a little bit monkey brain, but not combat monkey brain. 
Um, it's Cozy Gamers, if you will. If you guys know this group of people. Start Stardew Valley. It's the... This made me... This obviously... Concerned Ape is an absolute mad lad. <laughs> um, so if you guys don't know... You guys must know. The developer made this game all by himself. Pretty much, right? Secret bases. Yeah. I love that kind of feeling. The <laughs> Game Boy. <laughs> GBA was a kingly console. I, I also remember the GBA that, that was like foldable like this. I feel like that was not as good. Like the posture you get stuck in, not as good. <laughs> Pokemon Emerald ain't that old, right? <laughs> Making me feel old. Oh no, I'm geriatric. <laughs> I'm glad to see some geriatric friends here. Can't wait to hang out with you guys in, in the old people home. We don't need we don't need kids, we have each other. Yeah, GBA was goated. <laughs> the target audience should be Takodachis. They have money. Actually, it's pretty pretty similar vibe. Takodachis tend to be chill and calm. Until they see fate or something. Okay. And yeah, this... This was the... This opened my eyes to the potential of indie developers. I was like, this was made by one human? One single human? This is possible? <laughs> I got my cocks turning. And Omori... Because... The... The person who made Omori was an artist and she came up with this concept and eventually through just her being a very, very popular artist and and getting her name out there that way she was able to um, turn her game concept into a real game. I think it started off as just a series of artwork of a depressed boy stuck in a room like this. Oh, by the way, I have a mouse now. <laughs> Upgrade. Some of you guys will know. Will know I I didn't even have a mouse before, but thank you. Thanks. Thanks to your contributions, I have been able to purchase a mouse from Lenovo. Hachi. Right, depressed boy. I think I did watch the playthrough, but I don't remember much of the story. Oh, dicks. Let's not do that. And then Undertale. Do you guys like Undertale? Is it Wireless Sensei? No! <laughs> What's wrong with Lenovo? Oh no. <laughs> Clicking ASMR. Can you hear it? It's not Wireless because... Wireless is um, my mortal enemy. <laughs> if it runs out of battery and I have to charge it, I'm going to get very aggro. <laughs> so it's a wired mouse. And I like it. Um, yes, Undertale. Cool story. Cool concepts. Um, interesting characters. That's all I have to say. And then 
obviously our game dev goat um a mole <laughs> kumi's game oh thank you for members thank you victory for joining the garden the novel patchy thank you for purchasing mole stonks it will definitely go towards things like buying a mouse and game development yeah, actually, this is something like one of the biggest ways you can help make this come true. But yeah, um, Kumi make this, uh, what do you call it? Whack a mole game for us. And that reignited um, something in me. I was like, oh yeah, making a game is on my bucket list. Okay, this this one is something I recently found called Chef um, RPG and is still under development. I've just been just been um, watching his dev vlogs to see um, just to wrap my head around the game design mindset, etc. Yeah, uh, ease myself into it. Okay. And here's some screenshots of my favorite game of all time. Um, Harvest Moon, Mineral Town. And I think for my game, let's call it the Jenlington game. I want to have interesting waifus. Like ne um I can't really say never before seen type of waifus because you know there's no such thing as an original idea. But I want to have some waifus with very unique backstory. For example, imagine um a waifu who smiles a lot when when you first meet her but then as you get to know her she actually smiles less because 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 she is actually putting it on putting on her customer surface smile when she when she's um with um other people people she's not comfortable with so smiling is like her defense mechanism. When you get to know her, she smiles less, but 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 she becomes cuter still, you know, and through the writing. I love you. <laughs> okay. Like this is one of the ideas I had. Early, early development thoughts. So, it's Anne, Tomboy, Ellie is the nurse. Do you guys, if you guys played this, do you have a favorite? Let me know. I think when I was little, I really liked Hopperty. I thought her hair was really cute. And then, I think when I replayed it, I tried to riz her up. Ellie? Ellie? Ellie. Because I just think her design and sprites is really adorable. I'm not so sure about personality. I think it's, it's okay. <laughs> Why is we talking about dating sensei? Yes! Literally... Literally one of the most fun parts about Harvest Moon was trying to risk up the girls. Yeah, watching devlogs. Hold on. I think calling it a game is too much sensitivity. 
How is your game design doc going? Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> Actually, I won't show you because I can't be bothered to go to Google Docs. Um, basically, I have written a title. <laughs> um, reading um, game game development document very importante <laughs> okay um yeah does anyone have if anyone has ideas of for cool interesting waifu um settings <laughs> waifu settings then let me know um and I thought it was really cool that you could also marry the goddess. I thought that was a really cool detail. I never managed to do it. I think it's very difficult. But one of the reasons I love this game is because of the aesthetic. And just look at what they did. To my dear waifus <laughs> when they when they did the remake this is all personal opinion please don't be offended if you prefer this but i'm i'm very sad <laughs> can you collect moles like pokemon yeah we we can we can definitely brainstorm how to how to work moles into the game and uh, it's going to be filled with easter eggs that's the plan and just look at the animals they are so cute and round i don't think any of the i don't think um Personally, I feel like Stardew Valley, the, the, the art style is not quite my cup of tea. That's why I want to make my own. And... Here's the, the map. Seaside, you can fish. And then you can have babies. Okay, I'm just going to throw my ideas at you. I was thinking maybe at the end of the game, you can play as your child, but with a spin. We'll talk about the spin in the future, sometime in the future. I like how interactive the game was. Even though it was a simple game, you could interact with a lot of items. Because there are games that are very beautifully made. But then when you click on things, nothing happens. Like, not even the dialogue happens. It's just that i feel like i want to make mine very interactive even if it's just a funny dialogue popping up that would be good and there's a lot of interesting mechanisms of things working in a way you don't expect it to i think i was talking to Opai Dragon about this. Um, so for the onsen, you can actually throw an egg inside, if I remember correctly. You can throw an egg inside and then you make hot spring egg. Onsen Tamago. Fun things like that. And of course the forest sprites. And you can get them to 
um, you befriend them by playing games with them and giving them gifts. And once they like you en enough, they will come and help you on your farm like this. And I really like, I really like this because I love having characters who are originally not part of your farm. Um, they all come to your farm and hang out there. I think that's so cute. I don't know if Stardew has this kind of mechanism, but it really gives a sense of community. Rather than just you focusing on your farm. And then there's the cooking mechanism. So cute. So simple, but so cute. Is, I don't know why I put a random thing of the house here. <laughs> what what one of the husbandos looks like this? What a mod it. I think Tabby wants to focus on waifus. We need a cute Sundere for research and development purposes. Ah yes, for science. Sundere for science. Human behavior. Um, research. The moles run stuff like the pixies. Oh, the sprites. Yeah, kind of like that. Oh yeah, what if we combine mining with the sprites? The sprites mechanism? I actually dug to the depths of the mine to get the auric talcum ore. Is that like the most, the rarest ore you can get? I never got very far in mining. Jennifer seems like she would be my favorite. Who's Jennifer again? Jennifer? Jennifer is... But Jennifer is a less cute version of her. <laughs> Your wife is trash. But I, I understand if you mean in terms of personality. Like the angry vibe will probably step on you vibe. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about some of my ideas before we go on to talk about other stuff. Like plans and stuff. It's nice to get to be your real self with someone. Exactly! When someone smiles at you, it doesn't, doesn't automatically mean they are nice or they like you. For example, me. <laughs> Yeah, in real life, I actually use um, my smile as a defense mechanism. I don't know about you guys. Can you guys relate? Because I've been told my I have a decent smile. People like my smile, so I'm like... But I hate people. <laughs> but no... But I'm scared, so so to make sure they don't hurt me, I'm going to smile at them. <laughs> That's the best chance I got. And when you get to know me, I'm just dead face. If I can dead face in front of you, it means I trust you. It's like when when cats they stick your butt in they stick their butt in your face it means they trust you. Did you guys know that? Fun cat facts. So if you've ever seen a cat butt, congrats. Have you seen those plushies of the Harvest Moon cows? It's illegal how cute they are. Hold on, I need to look this up. Oh, also, yeah, that's a good point. Um, licensing opportunity. 
how to make the character super cute. We'll we'll work on that together. Please stay tuned and look forward to it. Smash that like and subscribe. <laughs> I noticed uh, YouTubers they'll say it in the middle of the the video. So maybe I was like maybe I need to say it in the middle of my stream too. Um, let me see. Harvest moon cow. Let's see. This is like. A secondary thought. Oh my god, it's so round. Yeah, the design is so plushable. Why is it <laughs> pixel art? <laughs> introvert. Yes, introvert. Hello, Puck Puck. Um, I love the star do Ali, <laughs> Ali root. Oh, Haley root. How she gets nicer as you romance her. But what if what if it's the opposite? <laughs> what if it's the opposite? She gets nicer as you romance her. We've all seen that before. What if what if she? Verbally and physically abused. Okay, we'll stop there. <laughs> have you heard of oxygen not included? Has falling too. I have not heard of that. You guys, put put your game wrecks in the game death panel. Oxygen not included. It doesn't sound like a very comfy game. Oh, it's side scrolling. I will show you guys. I have never seen this before. You have to write all that extra flavor text. Wait, what? I need catch up. Mean tabby confirm. Not mean, just dead face. I'll use my fist when needed. But you're smiling right now. Yeah, I'm afraid of you guys. <laughs> One day when you see me not smiling, you know, I'm comfortable. I grow my beard as a defense mechanism. Are you Senshi? <laughs> Did you guys watch that Senshi video? I mean, episode. Abby will be the NPC in the game who cannot be a waifu. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Probably a master of the dungeon. The mine. Hi, Gerardo. You missed a lot of yapping. <laughs> no, why do they do that? Why is Cat Dad mad? <laughs> okay, so... This is you in game. This is you in game and you know farming sim things you make you make crops and you have farm animals. But the the twist or like the addition to that is you can you can Take these ingredients and then make different breads out of it. And you can, we can have mechanism for like the whole bread making process. Um, like the culture. Um, like bread starters. You have to feed them, did you know? The yeast culture you make you used to make sourdough bread, you have to feed it. So it's kind of like a mini Tamagotchi game maybe was in the the bakery portion. And the the cat 
dad is angry because I love angry cats. We'll talk about the vibes later. So just the regular farming sim things. Cock house, goats. Maybe we could we could put a spin on things and have some rare animals. But I'm pretty happy with just default animals and produce. Um, just a, another layer of the crafting mechanism is that you make bread with your produce. And then there's going to be an overarching pot. And it's, it's going to be the evil kibble cop. Okay, that's... We'll talk about... <laughs> like the themes and stuff in a bit. This is just generally how the work... The, how the game is going to work. Okay, so what is so special about the Gemlington game? Um... It's a farming sim, but it's actually a character and a story driven game. But the farming is going to be fun too. But um, I feel like, I personally feel like the characters, the story in most a lot of farming sims is more of an afterthought. I know there are exceptions. Like um maybe a wonderful life. I never played it so I cannot say. Or even if it's well written, maybe it just didn't resonate with me and I want to write um stories based on my own experience and um, if we already have Stardew Valley then what's so special about Gemlington? Cats! So when I say cats, you're probably thinking oh cute kittens, cute fluffy kittens but no because this is the kind of vibe I'm talking about. The characters are going to be scrungly, angry motherfuckers. <laughs> I really like this one. <laughs> Look at this one. This one's me on the daily. Me having lunch. Me on my way to groceries. Me saying hi to you. <laughs> yeah, gremlin cats. Polly, hello, hello. No worries. Everyone's behaving. Yeah, Kibble Cop is the baddies because, um,. Um, I think most people don't know that Kibble is actually not very, not the best thing you can feed your cats and, and it's not really your fault for thinking it's okay to feed Kibble because, um, you know, the... The marketing and everything, they trick you into thinking kibble is okay for your pet, but actually it's not, usually not very good for the health. Because for cats, they don't like to drink water. And if on top of that you feed them dry food, 
then they get dehydrated very easily. And it's the same thing in humans. If you're dehydrated, that can cause a lot of problems. And often, in, for cats, it leads to kidney issues. And it's actually the most common illness, like serious illness within um, for cats. And it would be good to spread the message about um, that. And I don't want to, I also don't want to demonize people who eat um, cat's kibble because it's cost effective. Cost effective and convenient, well, cost if you can't afford it, I understand, but um, I feel like it's worth a little bit extra effort to feed your cats and food, at least. Um, what was I gonna say about kibble? Um, there was something else I wanted to say. <laughs> um, yeah, cost effective. <laughs> Hello, Tagu, welcome in. Tango, welcome in. Nashu, beaver. Uh, what are you again? Fog sound. Stardew or something. Yeah, basically stardew with cat. Cat loaves. Yeah, I can make the breads. Really cute. Looking. Different shapes. Like a monster the cat race. Yeah, they're going to be... They're going to wear clothes like humans. Or the balloons. <laughs> Cats eat mice and stuff. Kibble is a lot of fillers, exactly. Uh, cat gets wet food, that's great. Oh yeah, another thing about kibble is that if you start feeding your cat kibble, they can get addicted to it. And this is going to be the, the overarching part of the overarching plot. Kibble addiction, aka drugs. Just kidding. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I really, I'm really intrigued by evil corporations. So I think that would be a theme within the story. And bread is just fucking cool. <laughs> Do I need to say more? And for, for bread, I want to... I think the the um, craft of bread making is very interesting so hopefully I can learn more about that and then put in the game format. I don't know if there's any game that focuses on bread making. And also I, I've never seen a farming sim that has um, Anthropomorphized cat characters. Or cats in general. So that's the niche I want to um, fill. <laughs> and the third thing is story. I have I have seen a fair amount of shit in my life. <laughs> I have experienced and seen some shitty things and I want to talk about them in a way that's entertaining and stays, hopefully stays with you for life. If I can figure out how to write decently, with help, probably. Okay, so the themes of what I want to talk about in the game, like the stories, is uh the good stuff will be food and community because i feel like food is one of the biggest things that bring people together um i think the biggest goal in the game 
is to cultivate the community um, with the help of food and spending time with people. <laughs> if you if you haven't noticed already, this is this game is pretty much a cautionary tale of um how not to become a bocce like me <laughs> that's pretty much the message the message of my game eat food and socialize because um law drop i also went through a period of time where i wasn't eating very much and you can think about the reason on your own but yeah um I'm really um by the way Fali, I don't know like if um in the future um you might have to avoid some streams because um loss is also a theme like a thing I'm really terrified of and I think um, my way of coping is just I I need to process my feelings and talk about it um, in some way. So yeah, if for anyone if it's triggering, then I will try to warn you guys. Um. Oh shit. I need to loop my PGM. Okay, it's looping. I think this this is very important because um, it's a common human experience. We need to all prepare for it at some point. Uh, other things that are unique to my personal experience would be culture shock. Um, because I studied abroad for a long time. That'll be interesting to talk about. <laughs> but um, with cats. Um, with cats instead of people. <laughs> so it'll be more fun. So um, I'm imagining... The cats, they have their cat ways, right? Maybe when the humans are not around, they just jump on the table and they eat like this. This is just one idea I have. And then maybe... Maybe your character will just walk in on the cats eating like cats and it'll be funny but it'll be a metaphor for like general culture shock and like maybe maybe cats they have a different way of raising their young for example cats will um a hiss on nibble at the baby <laughs> to tell them to knock it off and then maybe that would be funny and that's just the way how things are in the cat world and you as a human have to deal with it or something um i want i want the game to be filled with like things specifically cat owners would understand
Feeling small and helpless. Wow. Very, very depressing. <laughs> you can ignore this. This this is like just a random thought. But um like in the Japanese language, there's this setsunai. Feeling like this is really sad, but there's nothing I can do about it. Kind of feeling. I think this is a very interesting concept. Parent child relationship. Oh yes, um time over gifts. This is very important because playing uh Harvest Moon growing up really fucked with my brain. And it made me think giving presents to someone equals um guaranteed friendship. But that's just that's just not that's just not um correct just fucked <laughs> so i want um the relationship mechanism to work differently and maybe instead of gifts you'll sacrifice an hour in your day to in order to level up friendship with a person i think that's much more um of a better message to send cat fur everywhere oh my god cat i want to make the joke in the game you know because the cats are making bread they're going to be needing it oh yes i chose bread because cats they need and this is funny And when they need, the cat fur is going to get stuck in the dough. Stuck in the dough. And then it's going to be extra protein. <laughs> yeah, the character has to ask this question at some point. And the cat's just gonna be like, it's extra protein. <laughs> Deal with it. Sounds like Persona, right? Yeah, I was telling Hypesan I would take uh, inspiration from Persona and this is what I meant. Is it going to be like Western theme? Yes, um, Western theme, but then with maybe some Asian elements thrown in because I want to have a dim sum place. <laughs> Literally for no reason besides um, my own enjoyment. <laughs> but we'll figure details out later. What kind of townscape is it going to be? It's going to look um, like a cross between Mineral Town and maybe Chef RPG. Because... Uh, Chef RPG's developer was an architect. Well, technically, is still an architect. So they have some pretty cool designs going on. If I can find them, like to show you. Um, this is not that crazy, but something like this would be nice. A little more... A little more comfy. I actually saw some really nice pixel art on Twitter, but I lost them. I lost the post, so... And I can't find it anymore. It was a Monster Hunter... Fan art. You know the cat in Monster Hunter? With the giant pot. The grandma cat. Yeah, the grandma cat. cat. It was a fan art. Fan pixel art. Of that. 
So if anyone has seen it, please link us. Uh, <laughs> can't find any. Can't find any examples. But yeah, it's going to be West. Ooh, um, here's something cool. Something like this. Think Ghibli. A little bit fantastical. Bread stands for benefit. Or just bread. Just bread. Literally bread. Like sourdough. I'll be okay. I appreciate you giving fair warnings. I've been through a lot, but I'm good with hope. <laughs> yeah. Try, try my best. Let's try our best. Sounds like Sakuna of Rice and Rune. Noted. We'll keep it in my tabs. Because I haven't I don't have a lot of experience with games, especially recent games. I would really appreciate um any references. Any games I can that are similar and I can reference. Will the player be the only human in the city? No, not the only human. Because, you know, we have to have waifus. Yeah, scratched furniture. And I can't have you rising up some cat. That's just wrong. <laughs> scratched furniture. Yeah, that will be really funny. But then I think the cats are going to have... Have you ever thought about... Um, and... How an anthropomorphized cat would go to the bathroom? Will they use a litter box or are they going to fly? Stuff like that will have a lot of fun cat jokes. Raising social links with a pure numerical stat ruined a lot of people's perception of relationships. Yes, including mine. Because every time I meet with my friend, I feel like I have to bring a gift. Gift giving is a huge... I don't know about guys, but it's a huge part of girl culture. Like, to an unhealthy... To an unhealthy level. This is part partially why it's so stressful for me to meet up with people in real life <laughs> um um it's it's not because i don't want to give people gifts but choosing the right gift is very stressful because if i choose something they don't like are they going to be like, this person doesn't know me at all? <laughs> you know. And at the same time, I can't fully enjoy receiving the gift because I'm stressed about what kind of gift I'm going to give them next. I think a much healthier mindset to gifting is just when you see something organically out in the open. And it makes you think of that person and you have the funds then you get it for them um but if you don't see anything then you show up with no gift and that's fine i'd be happy to help with character design outfits oh yeah folly would be really good at this i can imagine your um aminol especially with your aminol knowledge but at the same time if it's with cats you give them food 
<laughs> like twice. <laughs> That's in they they are your cat now. <laughs> That's kind of true. <laughs> but then it it's not so easy with some cats. For example, my cat is really janky. <laughs> cat bring prey to those who don't hunt good. So a present can be interpreted as condescending. Really? <laughs> we have received so many cats. I mean, so many, um, you know, preys. <laughs> we have two permanent residents in our complex um the kind of like the neighborhood cats and they have given us so many gifts they must think we we're, we're very useless naked apes this game sounds like it's made for me really i'm so happy uni cozy gamers let's go the persona dating system is a good you have to manage your time carefully. Yeah, time management. It's more important than presence. Yes! Do you prefer top-down view to isometric angle then? Yes, I think isometric or farming sim can be difficult to navigate because... <clears throat> There's so much to talk about. <clears throat> because... You got your arrows, your west, but then if it's isometric, I don't know which way I'm going when I press up. What do you guys think? I know visually it looks more pleasing, it looks more three dimensional, but I feel like it's a little finicky. Which way is up? I guess this way, usually. And I just feel like top-down will be easier to make, too. Maybe. Hopefully. I think I found it. What did you find? Top priorities. Can we have a platonic cat partner like Probus in Stardew? Yeah, definitely. Platonic. Who's Crobus? Oh, it's a little. <laughs> That's so cute. Please, can I have some Crobus law? Bali, what do you think of the characters in Stardew? In terms of writing. Hello, Holy Long Wang. <laughs> <sighs> NPCs, lots of them. Their dialogue tree changes when your choices, rather, with your choices rather than a single affection stat. Yes, that sounds very complicated. Um, I don't know about. I think we definitely want events where you can, um. It's like a multiple choice and depending on what you choose, the outcome's different. But I think persona persona's social link events are so there's so many of them and it's so complicated. I don't think it's realistic to have as many as that. There may be like an event every month or every season within the game. The best gift you can give a guy is just talking and laughing. That's all we want. Also cuddles unless you're not looking for a relationship. Wow. Take notes. <laughs> the, the one girl in chat. <laughs> That's what I've heard. Is it as simple as that, everyone? Every guy? You have no idea how much just talking to a guy does for us. So just listening and talking. Honestly, same for me. I just want someone to not drift away. <laughs> you know, you know how... 
you know how some someone <laughs> when you can visib <clears throat> when you can visibly see somebody losing <laughs> like meeting the end of the attention span and then <laughs> yeah, mid sentence you see this happening and I'm I'm just sweating. I need an active listener. Just someone who's just straight on full on head banging. How do I draw head banging? Ooh, do we have a member? Thank you for joining. I'll get to you in a moment. I need, I need an active listener. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Member, Dag Dag, thank you for joining the garden and buying more songs. It will go towards our, our giant project. This is... I feel like this is going to take a long time, but we'll see. Scope! Look, look at me. Um, thinking realistically about things. So we can't just have a game that includes literally every game mechanism you can think of. We have to think about what's essential in order for this game to be um, fun to, to function so we need basic farming and a crafting system in terms of um, game design this is going to be um, it in terms of the essentials I think if we get, if we have extra funding, then we can add tons of other stuff like decorations, um, I don't know, what else is extras, decorating, um, maybe like, um, produce rating system, like you can get gold tomatoes like stuff like that can be extras or if we have extra funding character and storyline is going to be essential i need someone to help me write properly i want the characters to be down to earth not tuny build because i can't relate to them i just want people i just want characters I want to make characters inspired by people I've met in real life and real life experiences and I want them to be funny derpy pixel art this is something I can hopefully learn um, this is the closest thing to my expertise so I think um, we will start with this and here's the vibe it has to be cozy warm and alive alive is very important like I said before I want it to be um more interactive for example if there's a chair you gotta you gotta be able to sit on it it's not just decoration even though it's such a seemingly useless detail, I feel like it brings the scene to life. And I feel like it's such a waste if you if you spend so much time making a cute asset, but you're not able to interact with it. I feel like just going that extra mile does a lot. Lastly, music. Um, I don't think I'm going to be... Um, is, music is not going to be super crazy, high production. I just need a comfy BGM 
and probably a tune um like a jingle that represents the whole game you if you hear it then you think of Jamlington game for example the Stardew Valley opening tune has um the same effect we are simple creatures oh my god what's a cop thank you i'm sold i want to play a game oh my god tegu thank you so much for 10k cops what's a cop thank you thank you got a cop <laughs> tegu literally copped happy Okay. Happy guy confirmed. <laughs> Tropus is my favorite character. So cute. He looks so precious. More so than the humans. Forty time is huge for guys. I feel and girls, but they've just been, they've just been, um, tricked into thinking they like gifts. <laughs> by i don't know capitalism because i don't like i don't like gifts um well in terms of in the context of friendship <laughs> please keep the donos coming <laughs> in the context of real life friendship i don't like gift giving what i like is a nice sleepover where we um just become naked mentally spiritually <laughs> we take off all all our armor our makeup our cute clothes and we just sit together like two potatoes this is how i bond and i have not been able to do that with anybody and this is why i have become a vtuber on the internet I am I am spiritually naked right now. Almost. I'm still on guard because I'm smiling. Hello BJ Crow. Like my dad, even if we don't talk, him and me hanging out together in the living room, just hanging out near each other is bond forming. Yes, this is what I want. I think it's because I came from a boarding school. And that was just um, naturally a thing for me. Like my friends, I basically lived with my friends for several years. And it's just like a constant sleepover. I didn't have to try in order to um, get to state um, where I can be comfortable with a human. Because <laughs> during university, suddenly everything changed. I would go home to my own home and there would be no one else around me. So I had somewhere to hide, essentially. And if given the choice, I am going to hide. And that's how I became more and more botchy. I love listening, but what if my neck hurts? What? Why is your neck hurt, Damia? The dialogue paths could be made with a point system, I think. Not exactly like Persona's charm, intelligence, and courage. I think that depends on its value and in interval. Determines your dialogues. Ah, okay, so... Um... Like, a single value. That you can increase rather than a system like uh, a formula a complicated formula you just have a single value and that works too you can literally draw anything anything in the vtuber world that is a super power i can draw you expensive cars clothes drinks anything that's incredible yeah drawing is a superpower I don't think I would have been able to become a VTuber if I couldn't draw. I don't want to be forced to sleep in game. <laughs> I mean, maybe 
Maybe we can have some energy drink. <laughs> that lets you stay awake, but then you have to pay for it. You probably probably end up in hospital. Seasonal store, yeah, seasonal store. Clothing and seeds. Make it like Persona 3 where saying the wrong thing can actually hurt the relationship. Yes! I think this happens in Harvest Moon too. The newer games stay away from that? No way! That's such a shame because this happens in real life and... I think for my game, I want to... I want... My message is that... It's going to be that it's okay if you fuck up in a relationship. You can make up for it. Still can't draw yourself a real friend too. Too true. I'm not crying, you're crying. Not tuny. <laughs> what if your love interest in game is tuny? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, also it was Tegu's first super. That's so cool. Double pog. Pog multiply. Pogs. Pog. Um. To the power of pog. Okay. <laughs> Why have a chair if you can't sit on it? Exactly. You see a flower pot, it should be able to be thrown down. I don't know about that. That sounds dangerous, Damia. Happy made BGM. I mean, I could if if this is some if this is content um, people are interested in. It'll probably be really bad. I think we can make a jingle and then ask a professional. To turn it into a real BGM and then we can all have a premiere on stream together. Simple game with good art. Hell taken. Yeah, I think that's a very good point. Holy long wang. <laughs> that's a very good point. <laughs> Minus int. <laughs> Minus int for you all. Username though. Ooh, that looks cool. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> um, yes, I want, I want the game to be simple because I really believe in that. Um, old tricks work for a reason, like the farming system. Even if it's simple, I think it it still works even to this day because it's such a classic system. And I want um, to keep that. Why change something that isn't broken? Just add on to it. And I what I want to add is cats. <laughs> Good art. Uh, Specifically, dumb cats, and then, um, less toxic relationship system. <laughs> um, yeah, good art, and what was it? I'm missing something. I'm missing one of the ingredients, but it'll come to me. Um, oh yes, uh, good art, dumb cats, and good writing. More detailed writing. Okay. More unique characters. And characters that are not just wholesome. Characters that um do good things but also shitty things. Like that villain. Like that villain who has a really uh, convincing backstory that makes you go like actually fair enough I see why you're fucked up <laughs> you know Abby's involved in illegal activities what yeah many cops soulmate you say quality time of just sitting with someone yeah, not saying much. Company is 
underrated. That kind of <laughs> spirit. <laughs> I think I um, paused for too long. I think a lot can be said for being able to be comfortably quiet with someone. Maybe this can be... Maybe this can be one of the plot points. Thank you for your ideas. You guys will be famous when the game is famous. <laughs> Stonks. Um, plot. What was I going to say? Sitting in silence. We'll have a plot page for all your ideas. I will make try to make sure to write your names too. Up relationship. Or like intimacy. You can have a bad relationship too. Um, yeah, earlier when I was saying why fix a system that works and especially when I'm not um, an expert and early. <laughs> an expert in game mechanics i feel like i should focus on what i'm more familiar with creating characters drawing um but you know it's all about atmosphere you can still make it unique as long as the atmosphere is your own did we talk about everything on this page yes music comfy bgm maybe i we can all make a jingle together and then we'll vote for one to be made into the theme song that'll be pog okay this cats some inspiration um chinese ninja Slash Old Pie Dragon is not here right now. But did you guys know he has a demo out for his game? I didn't know this. Go check it out. Here's the. I'm going to drop the link <clears throat> in chat. I haven't tried it myself yet. But go give Old Pie Dragon some support because. Um, he's our main, the main pixel artist in the tavern. That's why I think of him. And he has a has experience in making a side-scrolling platformer game. Super cool. And recently, he tabled at the game convention or something. Sick, bro. <laughs> that game looks sweet. We got this. Yeah, yeah. Go check it out. If you mess up too much, the game locks you out from that social link. Ooh. That would be good. Like, you get... If you mess up twice, they're going to ignore you. For like a week. It's hard to get there sometimes in terms of um, getting comfortable with someone. Yes, um, I think I was too fortunate in being in a boarding house. And I never realized how difficult it was to get comfortable with someone. Until I left, and then I could not adapt, and then I became a bocce. Because I'm a very passive person, I need the person to come find me. 
<laughs> to hang out. Uh, very lively environments. Yeah, simple me mechanisms, but lively environments. Cat's clothes sketch. Cat's clothing would be so funny. I can't think of any game that has a forgiveness option after you screw up a relationship. So great idea. Cool. See, we got some unique stuff going on here. Okay, I'm gonna write this down because I like how you worded it. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Where's the plot page? Um. Who's a what's the person? Masternet. Um, forgiveness. Mechanism. <laughs> Not mecha, but mechanism. Okay. Cat clothes gacha. I'm going to write that down because my monkey brain is very stimulated. Hong Wang. <laughs> Wait. Wang Cat Both Gacha Oh, um, one random cool thing I thought about is that when you become when you up your friendship with the cat uh, and when you when you talk to them at some point, they're going to start purring. Like a purring soundtrack. When you talk to them, that will be so cute. I love listening to cats purr. Did you know it can um, help heal your bones? The frequency in which cats um, purr in? It can literally heal you from within. Fun fact. Relationship system based on the amount of bread baked. Kind of, actually. Um, I was thinking social events like cutscenes can be triggered by having a certain dish on hand. So maybe, like... Um... Maybe <laughs> someone really misses their hometown and then you have their favorite home um, hometown dish on you, then you can trigger something. Or, or you go to, you get invited to a tea party and then, not tea party, you get invited to a, some sort of party and then you, if you bring a handmade, nice handmade dish, then you you get good points. But if you bring a bag of kibble, then it's like, eh, meh. I don't want to be like minus because bringing something is, is nice. I don't know what this is. Omu rice? <laughs> That'll be fun. And... Some references. This is isometric, but for the vibes, we have this. This is cool. More interesting designs um, rather than just a simple tavern building or like hotel building orphanage building but have some interesting element have a lot of nature mingling with um man-made structures i always love that overgrown moss and stuff like that stonks having characters that actually are not flawless is cool yes yes 
building system, I think um, that will be an extra funding thing. We can have, we can unlock the ability to to make the inside of the home customizable. That will be fun. I think building may be a touch too hard to put in. Yeah, I think just simple customization. Yeah, exactly. Option of house interiors and then being able to decorate. Exactly. Um, I think maybe depending on the person you marry too, you'll get cute little trinkets in your house. For example, I was thinking we could have a crochet artist as one of the love interests. This is just an idea. Just crochet artist and if you marry them and then you're gonna have little cute little doilies everywhere in your home <laughs> um it's like an extra reward you get when you marry this person but everything can probably be purchased somewhere else it's just like a bonus thing when you marry one of the characters That'll be cute. I feel like sitting in silence thing also depends on the person. I think so. I personally... It's, it's not... For me, it's not so much a bonding experience. Sitting in silence. But it's more like a symptom of closeness. Have like three or four house plans as you upgrade. Yeah. That game looks sweet, we got this. We I wonder if Opie Dragon would be cool with us playing the his platformer on stream. Gonna have to go in person and take her out to lunch. No 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 no. <laughs> no no no. Wonder thing about the game engine. Um um, I have been recommended Godo Foxan. Coding for game is Tyson. Yes. <laughs> I have watched a couple tutorials and I have my brain's already melted. I'm the same. Luckily, many of my friends are extroverts, so they adopt me as their friend. I have seen I have heard this expression before. I think it's so funny. <laughs> I've never been adopted. I have never, actually. I don't know why. <laughs> um, rather than being adopted by an extrovert, I just hung out with other introverts and we were a strong group that way. Um, some random artists I found on Twitter. Like for the house, not this color palette, but maybe similar style to this. And then this is a nice top down view example. I like this. They are called Carry Lake and Sun of Art 27. Cool stuff. Okay, so um, with my limited powers and limited hairs to lose, what will I do? <laughs> what will I do? Whatever will I do? Hello, Takahiro. Do you want to join Design Festa in Japan? What is Design Festa? Is this like? A game dev convention? If so, then hell yeah. All fucking course. I'll join anything. It looks like a general art thing. Is it? 
Why not? Um, the larger pupils. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Along with purring. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Now you know, Gerardo. Bone density. Adopt a cat for better bone density. Have them do a different tail shape. <gasps> tail shape would be so funny. But because the oh maybe the sprites, the sprites will do different. <gasps> oh my god. Nice. Ollie. <gasps> the sprites will do different tail shapes to express emotions. Ole. Good work, Ole. Oh my god. So what are the shapes? I think... Good car we have here. Up is happy. Come on. Just I'll just do a couple examples. And then this is I think curious or like happy but slightly unsure. And then This is afraid. You guys are going to learn so much about cats. During this journey. Throughout this journey. You guys are going to be experts. Um... First, uh, first thing I want to say is that I'm not concerned ape. It takes a certain flavor of crazy to develop a game on your own. A more complex game on your own. And I will expire if I try to do that. <laughs> I'm just a little old neat. <laughs> I'm just a regular neat, not... Not, um... <laughs> Whoever he is. So here's the plan. The big keikaku. To make this feel a little more feasible. So we're going to do pixel art. Because I am art. And this is the, the closest thing to what I usually do. Let's conquer this first. Well, um start experimenting this week hopefully and we can challenge basic programming i watched a couple tutorials and it looks doable to me that's why i'm like, that's why i'm saying this so i want to make a sprite that can walk around um Maybe you can talk to a few NPCs and have dialogue, have some UI in place. Maybe do a little bit of farming. We'll see if I can get this done. Basically, I want to have a decent sized area. You can walk around and explore as a sprite. So you can soak in the atmosphere. And I think it would be nice to complete the opening scene. So how, um, like, show the pacing and vibe of the whole game in just the opening scene. Or some other scene, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever works best in showcasing what I'm trying to do. And I think opening scene is good because um, you can show off the character artwork, sprites, every a lot of things. And it's the first impression, so it's very important. 
and it will make people want to continue playing the game and see what happens next um rather than um just having the farming system completed because most people have tried the farming sim before they know how it works i think what will get people curious is the characters like yeah the characters <laughs> and the story the interesting world building the cat world okay and i am going to uh promote this thing i'm doing via vtubing me as a sad clown <laughs> me singing <laughs> game dev forced to sing <laughs> actually enjoy singing <laughs> not very good but i enjoy singing Can we have an active tunneling map that occurs alongside the surface? Wait, like, tunnel at all times? I was just thinking the moles can um, be in charge of the mining system and then they'll make some appearances in, in the town. That'll be fun. Your objective Marcus Asia, America? Probably America. Um, basically, the cozy game. I don't know if you've been on TikTok and you've um, come across cozy gamers. Um, yeah, that's my target audience. And also cat owners. You know, the internet's obsessed with cats, so I feel like that's a pretty good hook. Little quilts, yeah, quilts. Yeah, maybe just a general textile. Ooh, different textile. Different textiles you can unlock according to who you marry. I wish I could adopt the cat, but right now I have two lovely doggos that keep me company. That sounds lovely. And dogs are already a lot of work, so... Focus on your doggos, it's alright. Dodo is nice in terms of it being open source and free, exactly. I love free stuff. <laughs> what does open source mean? Does that mean there are assets I can use as a base? Oh, okay, see you in a bit, Cosmic. Happy eating. You have hearing damage, why? Am I peeking? How long until Tabo adds the cat huffing function? What does that mean? <laughs> oh my god, what if you can snort the cats when you get close to them? You can just hug them and then snort the cat. <laughs> question mark shape tail is a classic for my cats, but I don't know how it is for most. Oh, so the inquisitive cat. I feel like that's not gonna show clearly. Oh my god, you're awake. I showed your stuff on stream. Oh, bye. Your game demo? Should we play your game demo on stream sometime? For um, research? <laughs> Will it not show clearly? I feel like the tail is a pretty simple shape. It's just a line. Also, it depends on what resolution I work in. Can someone dumb it down from what you guys have talked about? That's a, there's a lot to summarize. Um, yeah, sad clown is me. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll promo this thing via VTubing, if I feel like we have enough momentum going, we'll try this. Try crowdfunding and see if we can um, get it 
partially or fully funded then I can just focus on it and not worry about anything else and I can most importantly I can I can hire people who actually know what they're doing I think that would be a big win I'm kind of traumatized by crowdfunding so we need a separate plan for this the crowdfunding worked but I was traumatized. I, I probably have to hire someone to make all the marketing material and make sure they are good. Um, so yeah, I am actually not that delusional. I'm not trying to make the entire game myself. But um, maybe we'll, we'll get far um, in our solo arc. I don't know how far we'll get, but eventually I'm going to need help from pros. Um, so, pixel art. What we'll be working on in the near future will be characters. Probably I want to work on a sprite first. Um, something I can make walk around a space. I watched that tutorial already and I want to try it. Um, yes. <laughs> um, so the first batch of characters I'll work on is maybe just one variation of the pro tag. Um, to control. And later on, we can enable character customization you can you can have um some fun hairstyles some fun hairstyles and maybe colors maybe not so many outfits but different colors Probably overalls. <laughs> We're talking farming sim. How can we not do overalls? Unless unless anyone has better ideas. For, or um, our starter outfit. Um, I want to draw some cat. Because it's going to be a huge selling point of the, the game is to have really dumb cat. I just so angry and so janky. Oh, what's it? Like the salad cat. <laughs> I forgot what the salad cat looks like. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the main visual interest. For our game. It's gonna get people feeling like, oh, what the fuck is this? I fucking love meme cat cat memes. I'm going to click this shit. Oh, hello. Thank you, Master Nest, for joining the garden and buying more stonks. I I I hope it's because you're enjoying this game talk. I'm very excited. Um, yes, but, uh, spoiler for the story, you're going to be, you're going to be about to get reverse adopted. You're going to be adopted by a cat. Imagine that. At least this is my idea for now. And I want to design waifus and husbandos because waifus sell. <laughs> waifus get people interested. It's just a fact of life. Oh my god, my heat has been on this whole time. To turn it off. And what pixel art environments do I need? I need at least a part of the farm. Some farmland you can test on. And also a por portion of portion of the town you can explore you probably for the demo you won't be able to do a whole lot 
um, in the town, maybe talk to some NPCs and stuff, but, you know, the buildings are very important. Cool features um, to make pixel art for. I'm, I'm thinking when when the character arrives, they're going to be on a hot air balloon. I think a similar thing has been done before on um, in Rune Factory. I think you arrive on a sky ship. But oh my god, I started watching the a playthrough for Rune Factory 4 and holy shit, the, the opening sequence is so long. It's it's too long. Um when I was watching Chef RPG's video, he brought up a really good point that I really agree with is that when you enter the game, I don't want to be hit by a by just a fucking combo of dialogue. I don't I don't I don't even with animation this is not what I want. I want to immediately be able to walk around and deck around and just bother the NPCs and I don't know, look in the bin, dumb shit like that. I want to do that. No dialogue. No essays. Open source is free to use, but sometimes there's license on some. Oh, interesting. Have to be very careful then. Will the cats bring you stuff they caught? Yes, that would be really funny. Let me write this down. Lilith, you, you are about to be famous. In like, I don't know, four or five years, you'll be famous. Um... Gifts. Corpses. <laughs> oh no, goose is you. <laughs> um Credit to Lilith. Cool beans. Um where was I? Right here. It happens in Sims sometimes. Oh, does it? That's impressive for Sims. I think it might be funny to receive something from a cat that you're close to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Great idea. Grips of children equals no bueno. That that brings me to the point. The fact that I want... Um, there's going to be an orphanage, probably. And it's where the main character comes from. That's what I'm thinking so far orphanage and it's also something i want to talk about um in my personal experience just living under somebody's roof and having someone care for you as as if they're your parents but you know they're not really your parents and that really fucks with your head <laughs> love that orphanage CEO Tabby, yeah. CEO Ark. I am suddenly Ara Ara. Science cat. Looks like a regular cat, but with an oversized coat, like a cape, and it creates all your tools upgrades. Ooh, science. Science is science is interesting because um I think I think it will be really interesting to talk about um, modern science versus, um, you know, older um, medical practices because um, of my illness. <laughs> of my illness. It was something that the Western doctors could not fix. And I used to be one of those people um, that would be like, oh, um, naturopathic 
medicine is BS. Until it really bit me in the ass and nobody could fix me besides, um, you know, a, a naturopathic kind of approach. Yeah, I was literally being hot potatoed by Western doctors until um, I was backed up in the corner and I had to go the natural way and it actually worked. That might be something interesting to talk about as a theme um, in the game, like natural versus, I don't know, technology. Um, so maybe a doctor cat will be a thing, but definitely an apothecary will be a thing for sure. Apothecary and probably a witch. A witch, but she's kind of like Kiki. Kiki witch. Um, so my idea for the witch is that she is living under the shadow of her genius brother, her uh, prodigy brother, and she's just trying to find her space in the magic world. Like, my brother can literally do anything. What what do I have to offer in this in this um field, the magic field? Um, natural versus um, science is na nature also though technology you know you, I, as long as I know what I mean it's fine and that was related to something Nash you said Cat R&D sector to make farming tools that surpass Metal Gear? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Metal Gear mention. Godo, Godo can do 3D too. I never knew that. Do it fart. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Shiryu Dova. Not sure. Not sure if troll or just ADHD. <laughs> Is it going to be three D, two D, two point five D? It's going to be two D. Keep it simple. What really matters is the soul. Okay. <laughs> the maybe maybe the aesthetics too because. We're, we're shallow like that <laughs> as, as, um, as a society yeah godo godo the curse of the ADHD brain I'll be actually a cat confirmed <laughs> why <laughs> I don't like spending 20 minutes in a tutorial for real for real yeah I just want to run around and be dumb in game do you think about character customization, Sensei? Um, I did mention I want basic uh, uh, character customization to start with. And maybe with extra funding, we can make it really fancy and have a full on. Actually, that red kind of works. <laughs> and have a full on fashion shop like the Able Sisters. Kind of like that. Okay. Oh, that would take so long to design. <laughs> that would be so cool, but it's not essential. And as a starter, you can you can have a basic outfit, change your hairstyle, and change the color of your outfit. That's the min minimum we'll have. And obviously, skin tones. 
Mau Mau, yes, Mau Mau. Yeah, Mau Mau and Kiki. Queens. <laughs> I use a lot of natural medicine. Yeah, for some things. For some illnesses, you just can't fix it effectively with Western medicine. Western doctor cures the symptoms. Eastern doctor cures the cause. Yes, that is, that is something I have learned. And it's so true, guys. So true. Don't knock it till you've tried it. I'm not saying like if you if you broke your arm, don't go to a Chinese doctor. <laughs> Western doctors have things they're good at, and Eastern doctors have things they're good at. And you just have to um, choose accordingly. Doctor Cat, Shaman Cat, that'll be fun. Um, we'll have. I already have the characters actually for quote unquote Doctor Cat. I have an apothecary cat. Let me see if I can pull him out. Entering the forbidden realms of Instagram <laughs> in my repressed, in the repressed part of my brain. Oh my god. Dude, I just want to... Um, I think I will change the design for him though. Not super happy with the design, but I want to show you guys my art so you can get a feel of what kind of characters, what the characters are going to be like. Dude, this is this is my own page. You can't lock it behind a sign in. <laughs> yo, 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 yo! I just want to look at my own art. But I don't remember my password. <laughs> oh, that's great in it. That's just great. Well, I'll give you... Fuck! <laughs> I can't even click on my own post. I've been banned from my own Instagram page. Um... Well, that's just great. <laughs> I'm a witch. Oh, you are a witch! Hold on. Um, we have a witch here. Why is it not pasting? Also, on <laughs> why is it such a struggle oh yes um this is probably oh maybe because i disabled copy and paste on my website i'll just screenshot then f you This is the, the vibe. Me fighting myself. <laughs> um. And instead of sprites, we're going to have mushroom gnomes. And it'll be kind of like Arietti. They're going like um, on a random day. You'll find one in your home, and you have to kind of play hide and seek. Right. 
very deep fried, but kawaii, arigato, and some aminos. Some aminos. They're going to be like this, but pixel art. But more dumb. These are not dumb enough. Like the angry cats sticker sheet I made. Which I can't find right now, but... <laughs> Ooh, um... Kind of like this one in the corner is very angry. Like this cat. Yeah, I was looking for the apothecary, but could not find. I'll share it in the tab at some point. Um. Oh, another aspect of the game I forgot to mention is that um, you're cultivating the one of the main themes is cultivating. Community, so fuck. <laughs> so over time, as you interact with more characters, that lessens your workload. So actually, um, the further you progress into the story, the less actual farming you have to do, because your nakamas will come help you out on your farm and then you can um, do other stuff like talk to more characters um, or like do only the fun parts you want to do the mushroom hat is so important yes mushrooms mushrooms were my personality for the longest time So, um, as you progress in the game, you have more characters on the farm, just chilling and helping you out, and I think that's so cute. Along with the animals, of course. Of course. Okay. Final one. Why you should care? <laughs> Besides just... Just the fact that you're going to have a cool game to play. Why you should care? A, sh a shroom wandering merchant? Yeah, that'll be cute. Tea that grandma makes is one of the best medicines. That's so true. LaDonna. What does my- But everyone's grandma makes a different thing for you. That is comforting. Um... Probably noodles for me. When I go to- oh, um, I'm, I'm personally interested in farming sims because my grandparents own a farm, or owned. They're not so deep into it right now, it's like, they just do it on the side, but yeah, we had chickens running around, and we had chickens, and I think, um, we had pigs. We had pigs. So I have a little bit of background <laughs> in farming, if you will. Not really. <laughs> Not hands on, but I have. Um, I grew up in that kind of environment. Credit. I mean, not credit. Um. What you call it? I have, I have experience. Um, why you should care besides the fact that you will have a cool game to play. Um, you could become part of the game in the form of 
mm -hmm. Easter egg. Like the, for example, all of these ideas you guys provided, wouldn't it be cool if I actually used them? And then um, I'll probably, hopefully, add your name. Add your name to the game credits. Um, watch me some. <laughs> I mean, learn with me. If any of you guys dream of making a game on your own, but you push kind of push it to the back and. You're like that's too crazy no sane person would do this and maybe watching me will make um it feel more feasible maybe one day it will help you potentially make your own game <laughs> and big flex when game makes inevitably makes a bajillion dollars i mean we got cats we got waifus, we got bread. This is stonks, guys. <laughs> Happy granny moments. I don't have granny moments because my entire life is granny, so... <laughs> Can't have a granny moment in a granny life. That piece is beautiful, such a peaceful vibe. The bread one, right, is probably the best thing I've made. <clears throat> Time to pixelify and dumbify the animals. Exactly. Need to be dumb. Why do hamsters have to be so cute? You know why? Because if they're cute, you will keep them safe and breed them. And then they're going to take over the world. Yeah, that's a chinchilla, Wang Wang. If you post some of these in the tavern, I can try my hand at pixeling them. Oh, I, I'm afraid of asking, like, letting you guys make things for this already because I don't. I'm worried. I'm worried. Like, if you make something, I wanna, I wanna be able to use it. If you know, I think we should have a clear direction before I start. Asking <laughs> for help, aka volunteers. <laughs> Ooh, what if you fight bakery food? Excuse me. <laughs> is is this combat brain rot? <laughs> what do you mean fight bakery food? I think maybe we could keep combat within the mining system is is combat necessary everyone big question is combat necessary for farming sim philosophical question are they willing to work chickens and pigs so cute yeah so is on schedule projects for real what do you mean we're we're just conceptualizing right now <clears throat> Hey, I've done some game dev before and I can def learn back along. Yeah, like revision. A tab billion dollars. Exactly. We settled for life moles. Build the actions while it's starting. If you have a particular knowledge on one specific crop. Whoa! Double red! Double rainbow! Holy, holy donuts. <laughs> Thank you for 20 gift subs and welcome new garden moles. Thank you for buying more stonks. Oh god. <laughs> all the all the lurkers being surfaced <laughs> by brute force. You could also go the Keen Me Gea. Doa. I will keep that in my tab. Oh wait, someone someone already recommended this to me. Um, of just doing that one thing, but incredibly complex and in depth. Oh, it's the rice. It's the rice farming sim, isn't it? I know this. I watched the trailer for it, and I was kind of 
excited. Um, yeah, maybe we can go really in depth in bread making. I actually want to learn how to make sourdough. Will I be able to make donuts? Donuts? Yes, why not? If we have bread, why not make donuts? Okay, I'm going to start a poll for Do we Do you Wait, is combat necessary for a farming sim? Yes, no. Go! Ready, set, go! Okay, um... Yeah! <laughs> How to help? A lot of you guys are already helping! Oh my god. Double red with the immediate action. Waste no time. By supporting me through most stonks. And because it renews every month and it's literally just one dollar if we have enough people then we can cover my base salary so i can feed myself and the cat and then just focus just focus just um focus on suffering <laughs> as a game dev um that would be great and just a small uh, contribution um, can be so helpful and meaningful for me so please consider it uh, gift subs are, are also fantastic but um, they also do not renew monthly so it would be great if you can subscribe on your own then we can keep the numbers approximately approximately at a good level every month then like a stable income every month that would be a dream come true i don't know how much i would need <laughs> i haven't really thought about this yet stable income um i have not thought about that yet But yeah, <laughs> and obviously, donos help too. Whenever you feel like it, no pressure. A uh, second way to help is to just watch, because it helps with the algorithm, and you can give me ideas and feedback, and that's really, really valuable. Um, and because you're watching the streams, then you can effectively spread the word. <laughs> this free labor is kind of half a joke, half joke, because I'm worried. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't want to be like exploiting people. <laughs> so this is like, definitely don't feel pressured to to contribute um <clears throat> because i don't know if i will use it in the end i don't i and i don't want to waste your time for the sake of what <laughs> exposure i don't want to be that guy <laughs> but if this is this is if but if you you think you'll have fun doing this just for yourself then maybe you can volunteer <laughs> I would, maybe I will put up kind of like quests in the Tabby Tavern and if anyone feels up for it, they can do a little side project. For example, pixel art items or sprites. But then again, it has to be all be the same style. So if you commit, you kind of have to really commit that's another reason i'm worried about this okay what if someone makes a few um sprites because they feel like it and they're really good but what if life happens and then 
and then they can't work on it anymore. I guess a style guide will be helpful for that. But sometimes, um, sometimes it's just different when a different person does it. <laughs> but yeah, um, warning, don't, don't feel pressured. This is if you, this is for the lols, okay? And really important is to spread the word, tell your tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your hamster, I always like to say. <laughs> and this is uh, just an example of how you can <laughs> introduce my absolutely bonkers, insane projects. Yo, this Delulu VTuber thinks she is concerned Ape and can make a farming sim. <laughs> what a fucking, what a fucking, um mad mole <laughs> free exposure right <laughs> let's do it guys we cannot contribute to this free labor problem okay so the is it called a consensus is no we do not need combat in the farming sim um maybe that that was one of the things hmm, I was iffy about for Stardew. Um, it's because there are monsters in the in the dungeon, and it just made the whole thing feel less cozy. I understand the I understand the appeal. Uh, I appeal. <laughs> the appeal of combat is fun. Feels good, right? But there are so many combat games in the world you can go to instead. And I feel like maybe it's not um, appropriate to have uh, mandatory combat inside a cozy game. That's my opinion. I know people who love dungeon calling in Stardew Valley, but it could be a distraction. I want you to focus on being comfy <laughs> and talking to the characters. Well, actually, there will be characters in the dungeon. Um, so that will keep things interesting. The mole network is literally going to be the mining system. So, yeah. Rice game is so deep that it is officially approved by the official Japanese agriculture. Holy dicks! Um, <laughs> hello, Mono Monte. <laughs> Welcome to the Lulu Land, Tabemonos. See, I remember you guys. Welcome in, welcome in. We're kind of on the final slide. Um, I could just quickly show you guys all the slides to catch you guys up on what we've talked about. Very, very extensive Keikaku meeting, our first game dev meeting. Just make sure it has fishing. Yes, we will have fishing for sure. Welcome in, Nerd Bla Bla Blaze. <laughs> I did not mean to call you Nerd Bla Bla. Argent. Notorious, Juliana. Holy what? Monoray, Tabemonos, welcome in. There's a lot of Tabemono involved in my game. <laughs> I'm a Chokare. Chicken Kaicho. I like that. <laughs> yeah, we have a raid. <laughs> why why are you guys confused? Is this the first raid you, you're witnessing is when um, other viewers from a different stream, they join another stream as the original stream ends. Thank you, thank you, Mono Monet, very generous. Um, apple salt, salt, salts. 
Welcome, welcome. How was stream? What did you talk about? Yeah, I'm curious. Tell me all about it. Um, yeah, that's the end, actually. We can do a quick ending doodle after I show the tabimonos, what we talked about. Really quickly, so, um, first summary for you guys who have been here too, or joined midstream. I want to make a fucking game. Preface. Inspiration. Star Dookie, I like to call it. <laughs> That's why I call it in private. Star Dookie. Omori. Undertale. They all have... I think they all have indie backgrounds. And... This is Chef RPG. And this is a game. It's a tabby game made by one of the moles. Super cool. This is what got me thinking. Oh my god. Game dev might actually be feasible. Look, we already have a mini game. <laughs> Next farming sim. <laughs> Step one, whack-a-mole. Step two, farming sim. Oh my god, it would be really fun to just have whack-a-mole. Um, within the farming sim somehow, maybe. Um, within the mining system, you can do whack-a-mole to get some sort of reward. Then it's kind of um, exciting, but not as stressful as combat. My inspirations. Childhood inspiration. My um, lifelong fixation. Office Moon Mineral Town. I know A Wonderful Life is also a really good game but i never played it and i love the aesthetics of mineral town pokemon emerald version where they had the den this is so fun it would be really cool to be able to customize your home at least to a degree and even just the regular gameplay itself it's beautiful it's a beautiful game just perfect, perfectly proportioned sprites and colors and, you know, I think I would like my game to look a little more organic though, and more detailed because it's going to be a fixed map. So we can afford putting more details in the map. Uh, some screenshots of my all-time favorite game that I actually never finished. <laughs> I was so close to marrying Ellie in my replay, but then I think life happened. Maybe I will... Oh, I can't finish it. I don't think I saved the game file, but yeah. I love the aesthetics, the vibes. Even if you don't finish a game, there's there's value in, st still value in your experience. Um, the animals, so round, so cute. And just, just compare it to the, the modern remakes. Come on, I think objectively, the, these are cuter. <laughs> Hot takes, but yeah. I think um, part of this, um, part part of this, my urge to re um, to make my own game is because the remakes are really not it. <laughs> Sorry to say, it's frustrating me. I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy by scrolling around. That's just a habit I have from drawing. Um. Here's a map. Here's a seaside. Here's your baby. Why does he have a rat tag? Is this Bay? How close Bay? Confirm. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Haha, <laughs> cuz cuz she's a baby. I'm so funny. Hooking mechanism, love it. 
love unlocking dishes sprites that help you so cute just having buddies on your farm working together it's so vibes um yeah rather than just focusing on um building an elaborate an elaborate farming system i like this sense of community having having others help out so cozy and interactive cool little interactive things love that hello patrick um general plot <laughs> how gameplay is gonna go down you have a farm and your produce helps contribute to your father <laughs> your feline father's bakery you're adopted you're adopted Um, um, yeah, produce, and then you give produce to your feline father, and then he makes bread with it cool tomato bread. <laughs> and then um, there's going to be a bread making mechanism like the culture, the, the fermenting fun stuff maybe kneading kind of like cooking mama that would be fun too and then there's going to be an overarching plot of of you going against the evil kibble cop who is which is owned actually owned by a cat surprise surprise evil cat actually okay <laughs> And then you'll have the regular farm animals, maybe some interesting animals, like a goat, because I love goat milk. <laughs> so yeah, goat might be fun, or sheep actually, they had sheep in the original games. That, that, yeah, I guess sheep might be good because they, oh my god, what does a sheep look like? Because they also give wool, so no goat. But goats would be funny, wouldn't they? Oh my god, what if you can have just some goats in the mountain and you can go milk them? And then you have mountain goat milk, which is extra precious. Extra rare. You know the you know the, the goats that stand on on very steep hills because they crave the mineral. Oh my god! I can have okay this is this game is just basically a collection of animal memes how many animal memes can i fit into one game <laughs> you guys know the mineral goat they lick okay i'll show you guys a picture <laughs> mineral goat Mineral coats need. That's one of the search. No, no, no. Oh my god, you can literally buy bags of goat mineral. They do need. They. This is why they crave the mineral because they need this. Oh my god, I thought it was just one type of goat. This is a thing. Okay, I need to search. I crave. Oh my god, what if you talk to the talk to the goat and it just say, says I crave the mineral <laughs> ah, I'm dying I'm dying this is going to be the best game ever use the mineral goat Go sheep mutton, oh no. <laughs> Can we have slaughtering in the game? I don't know. <laughs> Is that comfy? I'm scared. Kibble Cop CEO, a misunderstood villain. Yes, he he was 
he's also the victim. That's the thing. Triple Cop CEO. He's part. He's also addicted to kibble, but he's running the company. And then he's going to get super sick, and then, and then the protag is going to help him turn things around. We have a plot. Nashu. Okay. By the way, I am writing everyone's ideas down with with credit, so Abemonos <laughs> your chance to get your name into the credits of a game <laughs> um, was it? Misunder it will call under the C E O also addicted to table. I'm going to have catnip in the game. That'll be funny. And I was thinking of having chocolate in the game because chocolate I love chocolate, it's tasty, but it's going to be a prohibited substance and then we can talk about um like the whole debate about prohib prohibited substances ooh deep <laughs> um where was i in terms of the slides i really don't remember Oh, goat, okay. Yeah. He craved the mineral. Fainting goats, that might be funny too. Ooh, what about the regular sheep? You can you can make them faint. <laughs> you can make them faint if you make a loud sound. Buy a goat so you can climb the mountain. <gasps> Good idea. Bye bye. Nah, shoot. This is just a mess. Okay, um, we're going to be here forever if I keep taking ideas. You guys are full of ideas. Pi Pi says, Ride boats. Climb mountain. Okay, this is obviously going to be extra mechanics this is this game is getting complicated <laughs> okay um yeah that's the gist and what's special about the game cats we're going to have extremely dumb not like this not like this extremely dumb scrungly cats this is the vibe of the characters. And um, it's going to be story driven. So I'm trying to go fast because we already went through this. Uh, what's essential? Farming, basic farming system, pack, good writing, pixel art, and music. Okay. Themes. Food and community. Cultivating a community. Using food to bring people together. And then dealing with loss. Here are some subtopics we might talk about in the game. In the stories. Some pixel art inspiration. Um, this is by one of our moles. You can type, type in this. Screen cap this and then download the demo for this cool platformer game. Good stuff. Some more inspiration. This is cool. By these people. Uh, what will I be doing? Or, 
for to get the ball rolling to complete a demo possibly um, I cannot do this whole thing by myself I am not that to Lulu so I will tackle pixel art try out some basic programming and try and complete an opening scene and then we can have you guys try it I will promote all of this via VTubing like I'll work on this on stream with you guys and eventually hopefully we can try and crowdfund it things are looking good practice uh, just some details on what kind of pixel art I will be working on characters and environments yeah yeah and the final slide self-explanatory why you should care you can become an easter egg with your ideas and if you're also interested in making a game you can learn with me and it's, it's going to be a big flex when um, we become famous and rich <laughs> after making the world's best game and here are some ways you can help uh, join my join my what you call it subscription membership that's the one one dollar membership and you can help um uh uh <laughs> contribute to tabby's base salary so i can be a crust crusty game dev full time not worry about getting a real job <laughs> don't want that don't make me get a real job guys um <laughs> watch your streams i don't think anyone will would hire me that's the problem <clears throat> watch streams yes for uh, give me ideas feedback and help the algorithm free labor this is half joke like if you wanna i will post requests in the tavern and if you anyone feels like it they can maybe make some assets for me but yeah don't don't feel like you have to because i don't want to be um that guy you know do it for exposure i don't want to be that guy this is purely in um in your own will through your own will you can decide to do this Ooh, thank you for joining members already. Whoa. Bro Doba Nerg Nerg Grocery. Um Bro Doba Nerg Groceries. Thank you for for joining right away. Really appreciate the help. Um thank you for buying more stonks. Let's let's see it rice skyrocket last thing you can do is spread the word um uh here's an example sentence for how um you can introduce me to other people yeah that, that's that okay i think we're done here and um after all of this i will probably lose my two hairs and but it'll all be worth it because um i don't have a very long bucket list and this is one of them so yeah you will um help fulfill my dying wish To have my own game that's it do we want an ending doodle like super quick ending doodle give me ideas holy shit do i have time okay i think i think we're good i will do one ending doodle i'm taking up a game design course so i have experience in game dev especially through unreal engine if you can help that would like give tips that would be awesome levy will probably be streaming around oh i see i see, I see. no raid oh does levy have a waiting room 
Oh, and let's try and raid someone too. Um, let me know if you find anyone that could be a good raid candidate. Most likely they won't have raid enabled, so we will do a manual raid. I, but I'm always worried I'm going to annoy somebody. Um, so yeah, maybe better luck with small streamers. King Goose, okay, we're going for that. Can somebody find the small streamer, small, small baby streamer who is, who could use a raid from me? Don't be going to someone with, with 100 viewers. King Goose. It's, a, it's going to be a very small crown. Oh my god, what if... What if it has a... You know, the cape thing. That looks expensive. Expensive goose. There we go. Should we continue the body? Oops. He doesn't yet. Oh no. Better luck next time. Oh, May Ray is streaming again. Okay, okay. Cool. Um, that should be easy because she said she activated it last time. So, here is our super quick ending doodle. Because we already talked so much. Just gonna... What cape do we want? What cape do you want? Red? Red. Oh my god, what if this is the mastermind behind Tibble Corp? <laughs> A tyrant. Merryweather? Merryweather's huge! I know him. I think I'll do Mayray because she's friend Fisha's friend and she's funny you guys will like her um let me set that up first and then and then i will say goodbye details customization redirect May Ray. Why is she not showing up? <laughs> Yo. Why is she not showing up? YouTuber. Help! This never works. YouTube, you need to get your shit together. This literally never works. Videos from my subscribed channels. She should be on my list, no? Is she is she live? Is she live or is it a waiting room? Give us the link, please. <laughs> Actually I can look her up. Um, YouTube, May Ray, and then I will post the link. Oh, Minecraft. 
Is it because of the thumbnail? I couldn't see it. Um, let me try once more, and if not, Minecraft. Minecraft of May Ray. Oh, oh, yeah, showing up. Sweet. Okay, this will work. I was so excited. Okay, we're going to have a proper raid for once. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, prepare your your raid message. Yay! Proper raid. Thank you for. Watching, be nice to the manta ray. It was so fun chatting with you guys about my game. I'm so excited. Um, see you again tomorrow. Maybe we can start doing some pixel art. Happy out.